So I thought I'd thought I'd get a video here of the Santos bike trail today. We're gonna do the Pave Trail, and uh, I remember three years ago when I first discovered this, I would be all alone in the parking lot, and look at this. The other parking lot's full. This one's full, and this is a Monday afternoon. But anyway, this is kind of a kids' uh, play area, and I uh, well adults too, but a lot of fun. Hold on. That's another area where you can. A lot of the young kids uh, will ride through here, and uh, hey, I'm sure that's a lot of fun. Heck, I'm, I might do it <laughs> one day, but uh, just kind of showing you what they got. Lots of uh, picnic shelters here. They, of course, they had them all roped off for the, uh, the, uh, the onslaught of the virus, but now everything's wide open. Everybody's having a good time here in Florida. Good to be free. Good to be free. That's a free state. But don't come here if you're going to vote to make us unfree and raise our taxes. So this is the other parking area. As you can see, it's full. And uh, there's another picnic shelter there. And of course, here's the bathroom here, which is a pretty nice uh, setup. You know, it's always good to have a bathroom, <laughs> especially if you're me. Now, what I'm gonna do is uh, you can get on the uh, Florida Trail just behind these bathrooms. This is not really the Florida Trail, but this is gonna hook up with it. And uh, we're gonna hike a little ways and then I wanna I'm going to make a left-hand turn, and then we're going to go down. I just want to show you the campground. This is called the Santos Campground. Uh, a lot of people during the winter come here and camp, and uh, we'll get on that in a minute. So I thought I'd get this. Uh, <clears throat> we haven't really hiked this portion of the... Well, I have, and I made a video, and I swear I got lost somehow. But uh, you know, here you can, you can tell the uh, land bridge, which we've done already. That's Cactus Jack. Uh, is uh, seven miles uh, that way. And then the baseline trailhead, which we've I've shown you all that portion of the trail, uh, is 4.7 miles to the left. And you can see we have hooked up with the Florida Trail because we've got the orange marker on the trail trailhead right there. And let's go on down into the campground, and I'll show you real quick what that looks like because I'm not here to uh, to make a Florida Trail video or anything. I just I do want to. Well, this is all going to be all about the paved bike trail, uh, and we're going to I'm going to do a video on that. But I did want to just show you the the initial uh, portion of the um, the Santos Trailhead here. All right. So this is the Santos Campground. Uh, so if you're a backpacker, you could throw up here. I don't know how much it costs because I'll probably never camp here because I live fairly close by. But uh, you can kind of see it's uh, so the Florida Trail that just comes right across. You know, these, these indentions in here in Florida, this is for when we have hurricanes and, you know, they're, they're flood, uh, flood areas. And a lot of uh, businesses, you know, when they come in and uh, tear down the forest and put up their buildings, they have to put in these flood areas. But, uh, so what happens is the, the Florida Trail, we're, we're going to stop right here because they're going to get back on the, on the paved trail. It just goes on this way and crosses uh, 441. Um, there's a sheriff's station there, and if you take a right... Uh, it goes on over uh, into a real nice little hike. Uh, talks about that canal that you see, <laughs> see them talking about everywhere. So that's what the campground looks like. Nice place to stay. You know, you got the, the bike trails and the mountain bike trails. You could spend a week here, well, a couple weeks, you know, easily and just uh, just bike and hike and have a ball, uh, you know. And, uh, of course, if you just go right up this way on 441 is Belleville. Lots of places to, to get a, a good meal. You know, the restaurants... Uh, there's one Mexican restaurant in there that I really, really like. All right, that's, uh, that's it. Let's get on the paved trail and get going. So we're coming up on the paved trail, <clears throat> which is what today's video is going to be about. Um, you know, if you want to hike this portion of the Florida Trail, yeah, it does get you off the, the paved trail and away from the, the bikes and, uh, you know, all the people hiking and whatnot. But it's really not a lot to see. Uh, it just, uh, as you can see, I, I'm just crossing the... The paved trail right here it just we did a previous video on this it just winds along next to this uh, paved trail yeah you know, at any time pretty much you can cut over and then eventually it does kind of go off that way towards the vortex um, so you do get away from the the paved trail eventually but uh, anyway let's just uh, enjoy I figure what I'll do because this, this is kind of what it looks like most of the way on this section now when, once I cross there's a road up here I think that's 20 25th Avenue I'm not sure 
and uh, and then it'll dive back into some oak trees and we'll get some video there and uh, you know to, to get the video going I'll, I'll tell some uh, tell some uh, wartime stories all right so this is pretty cool I'm walking along probably a poisonous snake he's just moving along I'm gonna protect him till he gets off of the uh, the bike path here because I don't want him to get run over by a bicycle or some idiot to try try and kill him you know he's working his way along certainly not gonna bother him but isn't that cool I just love seeing this here in Florida here we go yeah I'm just protecting him to get him across a lot of people out here today you know it's good to be free here in Florida there he goes now come on there you go get, hopefully he's gonna get going he's working on it come on little guy oh geez now he's turning the other way I might be here a while I'll, I'll go ahead and cut the video off right there he's looking at me <laughs> he's, I'm not bothering you little guy I'll see I'll back off well just a crap load of people out here today I uh, I'm sorry to see it I mean because Florida is a free state everybody in the country is moving here you wouldn't believe the construction that's going on around here and I even the traffic is getting really quite uh, quite heavy around here I when I moved here three years ago you could travel around Central Florida and uh, you know hardly see another car on certain roads and uh, now it's just uh, you know I'm sorry to see it I, I just hope they don't turn the state uh, blue and and then we're not free anymore and our taxes will go up and and then where are you gonna go I guess Texas maybe but uh, you know you're running out of places I I've always liked Australia <laughs> but anyway let's whip around let you look at the trail for a bit <clears throat> So this is, uh, we're about 1.25 miles uh, just beyond that marker. I'll show you on the next mile. Well, actually, when we dive down into them oak trees, we'll be hitting down in there at about 1.5 miles. And, uh, but, you know, it's just kind of more of the same. Not, not a whole lot to see, although that snake was pretty cool. I, I'm glad we got some video of that. He was a cute little guy. And, uh, well, let's keep on going. So I wanted to get this. You know, this is what you see. See, on the other side, they haven't marked it because they're hoping that they're going to extend the trail at some point. You know, right now it's only 70 miles on the paved trail, uh, but hopefully we'll get something. we got some people coming. We'll get you. We'll just be across the road here in a sec. So this is uh, 110th Street. I think it's 110th. I'm not sure. You know, it'd be nice if you... One of these days I might paint the, <laughs> the name of the road right there. And uh, you can see it just kind of goes on that way. And uh, one thing I have never understood is why they don't put a little parking area here. You know, I've seen cars pulled up right there, but it's probably illegal because, you know, it says no motor vehicles. But right back over here, yeah, that'd be a wonderful place to put four or five parking spaces for people to get on the trail right here. You know, we are. Whoop, let's get the heck over here. <laughs> Boy, these are cool looking, aren't they? Man, a couple of three-wheelers. A lot of people out enjoying the day. It is nice weather today. I can't, uh, boy, well this is, uh, this is a different look I was telling you about. See, we kind of came out of, of that and then as soon as you cross the road, you get these, uh, these big oak trees and it just continues on like this for a while. Uh, so we're, we're about 1.75 miles up here. And uh, so we'll go maybe three miles out, three miles back. So that'd be a nice little six mile hike, you know, nothing. Nothing big, but uh, this is this is what the paved trail looks like. And uh, you know, if uh, if you live in the area or you visit Central Florida, I would definitely bring a bicycle or just come out and hike it, like I do. You know, I would I would have brought my bicycle today, but I thought it was going to be too cold. But uh, boy, the temperature really really got up. Now later this week, we're going to get some really nice temperatures. Uh, my problem is that uh, I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you this quick story. So, you know, this is my first motorcycle and uh, I, you know, I just, I got to thinking, I said, you know what, usually when you're breaking in a new engine, you know, that first oil change uh, comes up pretty quick. And uh, I pulled the manual out and I wasn't supposed to be riding that thing more than 600 miles without changing the oil. So uh, I can't, it's, it's grounded right now. I had to order the motor, motor oil because I couldn't find any in the area because it's called, uh, I'd have to, 
look up the name Moho or something like that. It's motorcycle oil. And that's another thing I didn't know. You know, motorcycles, they take a different type of oil than a car. I was just going to put a standard quart of, uh, you know, SAE 10W30 for car oil here, 1.75. So, uh, but uh, that ain't going to work. So anyway, I, I don't know if I'll do the Florida Trail tomorrow. Actually, what I think we'll make a video of, um, and this is to the veterans out there, was because I'm a disabled veteran, you can get in Florida uh, a state park pass. And uh, it was free uh, for, for, for disabled veterans. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, there's a state park nearby that I'll just take my car over to uh, later this week. And we'll get a video of that state park. I've always wanted to go in there, but it was $7.50 to go through the gate. And now that I'm a, a state park uh, member, then I can just uh, go on in there. And, and I think there might be some trails back in there to hike. And that'll be close by until the oil arrives. Cause, and I hate doing it, but I had to order it from Walmart. And they said it could be, you know, as long as a week to, before I get the oil, then I can change the oil on my motorcycle. All right, that's good enough. You think you've seen enough of this portion of the trail. And uh, when we get to the next road, uh, it'll be a different look because it opens up, uh, which is, you know, that's one of the things that I, I've talked about in previous videos is I don't know why they cut back on the sides of the trail so far. Because see how this, this is a nice hike here, especially in the summertime. You know, it's hotter than hell. And it's nice to have the shade. But as soon as we cross the second road up here, it, the shade goes away. All right, guy coming. So I'm coming out onto what I think is 25th Avenue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it, and the vortex is just down this way on this road. And uh, But we're just continuing on the bike trail. Yeah, you know, once again, I mean, here's a guy that, uh, you know, just pulled off to the side. There's no, no parking signs. But, you know, what would it take to just put a couple of parking spaces, you know, maybe right here, or just come up here a ways. You know, this is a, this is a fire break here. And then you got a horse trail right here. But uh, let's get on up here. And you see see how you're breaking out into a different look. Oh, we got some people coming. Let's, uh, let's, we'll continue in just a second. All right, let's get the video back on. Yeah, you can kind of see the different look. And, uh, you know, here on a 65 degree day, it's hard to remember. But what happens in the summertime, you know, these trees are growing up, so maybe this, We'll get some shade eventually, but I tell you that afternoon sun on a 90 or 100 degree day just cooks you right through here, and that's that's why I go through shoes so much and have to use that shoe glue because the uh, the asphalt here gets so hot it actually melts the uh, the uh, bonds on the shoes, and uh, so in fact I got a <laughs> five dollar discount at Bell's. I'm going to go get me another pair of shoes here this week before it only good through to, uh, January 31st. But uh, this kind of look, if we get some, some changes, I'll, I'll take another video here in a bit. But uh, anyway, not, not a lot to see. I'm going to do another um, military uh, story video on the way back. And uh, you see we're at 2.25 miles at this point. All right, that's enough for that. Well, we made it 2.75. I want to keep going, but uh, that stupid daylight savings time. Golly, I hate that. But uh, I just wanted to show you, you know, if anybody's biking the trail, uh, this is where I stop with the Boo Dog when I bring him out here. And uh, it's a nice little little picnic table here. And uh, you can kind of get a look at the trail. This will be the last uh, bike trail video. So uh, go up here just a, just a little ways. I'll show you this, this trail here. I believe this is looks like a horse trail, yeah. So you can kind of see the, the bike trails and the, the horse trails and the mountain bike trails. They all just kind of intertwine through the greenway here. But it is quite a treasure that, uh, that this was preserved and put in here. So you can just kind of see where it goes. They came in and they put these, these white marks on the trail to mark the trails. But uh, unfortunately daylight's going to get away from me. So i got to turn around and head back at this point. And... Uh, I'll uh, pick up here in just a minute. I'm going to make a uh, military uh, uh, after uh, Camp Lejeune uh, video talking about uh, my time in the Mojave Desert, 29 Palms, California. We called it the land that God forgot. All right, so <clears throat> coming along the way, 
just thought we'd check this out. I've always wanted to come back here and here and look at it. I just never not saw this trail up here before. You always wonder, you know, when you're hiking out in the, on the bike trail here, what this was once upon a time. Oh, as I almost fall, tripping over stuff here. But uh, let's just check it out. Wow, look at that. It's, 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 good Lord, I guess this has been here a really long time. Here's a barbed wire fence. We'll just step over that. Yeah, we're trespassing. So let's check it out. I mean, there's a big old tree right there. So I wonder this, I'm trying to look, it doesn't look like, you know, normal cinder block. I wonder what the age of that would be. Anyway, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's just get a get this thing up in here. Look around. I can't see myself. Hold on. Wow. Isn't that cool? Look at those windows. Our door over here. Be kind of a cool place to throw a tent up, maybe, if you just cleared out a little bit in there. And uh, all right, well, that's it.